Thank you for tuning in to the Island Treasures podcast. We value the insights shared by our guests and hosts, but it's important to note that their personal experiences are intended to inform and encourage, and not to replace professional, legal, or medical advice. With that, we are ready for today's exciting episode. Welcome to Island Treasures mini podcast for caregivers. This episode is brought to you by Alongside Caregiver Consulting, and I'm your host and caregiver consultant, Alison Van Shee from beautiful Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. The Island Treasures podcast episode called A Caregiver's Vision featuring Victoria Esner is filled with tips, tools, and techniques for caregivers, as well as for folks who may be vision or hearing impaired as Vicki herself is legally blind and has a hearing impairment. She is an assistive technologist who worked for the Vocational Rehabilitation Program for the state of Nevada, and she is walking the walk of caregiving, serving others as she overcomes challenges and shares what she has learned. Let's hear how Victoria makes this work. I focus my expertise on all aspects of caregiving. Being a caregiver 24-7, you don't have the luxury of picking and choosing. And myself, with limited sight, and my husband with so many conditions, I learned how to expedite but effectively perform each task. My desire, my mission, my passion is to teach my methods to each individual on an individual basis on what they're struggling with because I've been there and done and you're not alone. It's important to know you're not alone. She learned how to expedite and effectively perform each task. So she has created courses to help others. I have a caregiving made easier. The ABCs is a self-paced course that has modules and lessons to guide you through the aspects that are involved in caregiving, whether it be advocating, medicine management, bath time, feeding time, whatever it may be, I have it covered. And then how much care is needed within that task. And then I have the guardian grace. I'll guide you through Caregiven Made Easier, the ABCs. You receive the course and then six weeks of my training, wherein we'll do a training session and a questions and answers along with a private Facebook group. And then if either of the courses do not work for you, I will um, do a strategy call and we will determine a personalized, customized program that meets your needs. Vicki is driven to help folks reach their fullest potential, and she puts her university training and certifications to good use. I do enjoy learning, and more importantly, I enjoy sharing what I learn, because that helps others reach their fullest potential, and that's what it's about, helping individuals to seek and maintain, whether it be employment or a better quality of life. How far we've come with assistive technology. Listen to Vicki describe how it was when she went to university. So the assistive technology was a two-piece CCTV closed caption television unit that lets you magnify the image that you put down. So you have this big, if you remember the big RCA type TVs that are um, a nice big square and this one might have been 20 by 20, that the second camera arm piece connected to, and you have to find a way to lug this from class to class. So that, in the snow, red wagon, did not work well. So I left my room and studied after I got out of class or used the technology to magnify. And now we have amazing, I'm holding up an iPhone Pro Max that, we can engage the assistive technology built into our handheld phone to help us either 
read the menu at a restaurant or magnify something or the thermostat is on the wall. Most individuals, you go into a hotel or your own home and it's cold or hot and you're guessing because you can't see the thermostat. Not only could you snap a picture, but then the built-in screen reading voiceover will describe the picture and say it's a thermostat with a display of 81 degrees. And you're able then to adjust. But there's so many tools available now that were not. But back then, I would have to use a human reader where they would read the textbooks or they would come and read the questions to the test and you write your answers or you dictate their answers and they write it so the professor can read the writing. Mm. There was no <laughs> no iPads, no laptops or portable devices of any sort. After speaking with Vicky, I checked out the assistive technology on my own computer and iPhone. Screen readers, voiceovers, alternative text, image description. These all promote accessibility. Many of us may already be aware of closed captioning, but there's so much more available. Now, education and why I love being an assistive technologist for the blind and vision impaired yeah. is the tools available are mind-boggling. And I have access to all of the new cutting-edge devices, software, and hardware being released on a sometimes daily, weekly, monthly basis. And if I'm not able to do something, if I do not know how to do it, I do have the resources and can connect you with the right person or company that can assist. There is so much available so we can accommodate folks who may require assistive technology. It truly is mind boggling. As we record these episodes, we never know who may be listening and who may benefit from this helpful information and these resources. If you're in the midst of your own caregiving journey and need some supports, I invite you to tap into alongsidecaregiverconsulting.ca. And if you need more information about the courses that Vicki offers or assistive technology, be sure to check out victoriaesner.com. I recognize how precious your time is especially as caregivers. And so this mini podcast is designed just for you. And when you have more time, I invite you to listen to the full episode called A Caregiver's Vision to hear more of Vicki's insights, wisdom, and resources. Thanks for listening. Take care. <laughs>